What if the thing stopping you from making progress is actually the person that's standing in front of the mirror? What if you are the one that's your own worst enemy? What if you are the one that's holding yourself back? What if all those excuses you make about not being ready, not being qualified, not being able, not having the right support network, not having all the things in place, all the ducks in a row, not being perfect, not having an understanding of what you want to do next, actually all come down to a small factor of, I just don't want to embarrass myself. What if all those things are masking the fact that the biggest thing that's holding me back is, I don't want to make a fool of myself. I don't want to embarrass myself. I don't want to feel the shame of failure. Then is that really a good enough reason not to actually explore and to change and to make a big step forward? Sometimes the biggest things that hold us back are to do with our own sense of shame and sense of embarrassment. However, in two hours time, two days time, two weeks time, two years time, is that actually gonna be something that we look back in regret? Or do we hold ourselves in the protected state away from shame, away from embarrassment? And all those things are often perceived rather than actual. So this is the time to take a really good check in. Are the things holding you back actually to do with things that are roadblocks? And how can we address those? Or are they around the things of, I'm feeling embarrassed, I don't want to take the risk. If it's embarrassment and the sense of uncertainty, it's understandable. Of course it is. However, should that be stopping you from actually progressing to the things you want to do, to the momentous, amazing things that in two or three years time, you're glad you actually take the step forward for? So if it's a sense of embarrassment, actually think of it as the emotion itself not as a roadblock to you actually taking steps forward. We've all had those moments that have held us back from progress, not from the things that are actually roadblocks, but the sense of, what if I embarrass myself? Sometimes the best thing we can do in life is put those aside, make the step forward, do the thing that we wanna do. Have a look at what's your actual roadblocks. If it comes down to a deep sense of, I don't wanna embarrass myself, then maybe today is the day we actually step out of that comfort zone and go for it. I hope this little video helps. Give me a little heads up as to what you found has been your ultimate roadblock that is actually, in the long run, wasn't a roadblock at all. We've all had them, we've all done it, we've all stayed in stuck places when things are perceived to be difficult and yet when we look down deep into it, it's actually only our sense of perhaps we'll embarrass ourselves that's held us back all this time. So go out, make the change. Isn't it better to be a little embarrassed at times and stepping forward rather than being stuck holding yourself in excuses that actually aren't fundamentally true? Take care, be kind, be kind to yourself. I hope you like and subscribe to the next video.